How's it going guys? This is Dave XP and last week I had this idea of remaking the famous Thor Ragnarok bridge fight but with Pikachu instead in this kind of retro video game style. So in this video I want to show you some of the behind the scenes of what it takes to make an animation like this one. So, the two softwares that I like to use to make these pixel art animations are both Adobe Photoshop and After Effects. For the character animation, I like to use the Photoshop timeline that allows me to paint a different layer, a different pose on each frame of that timeline. Once I'm done with all the poses for all the characters, the environment, the backgrounds, I like to bring that to After Effects so I can compose the scenes. Some of those assets, like the environment and the background, I like to separate in different layers so we can have some depth as we move the camera. For the characters, I like to place them in separate compositions that each one works kind of like a gallery of all the options and movements that we have for each character. For the animation, I like to replace the character with a square. That way I can just focus on the position of the character across the environment without worrying about the poses or anything else. Once I'm happy with that animation, I like to assign what is called a time remapping to that composition. And that just means that with this slider right here, I can now pick whatever character pose I want on each frame on the main timeline. To finish it up, we added some special effects that again, they were painted in Photoshop and brought back to After Effects. For the music, I really wanted to reference the original scene by using the Immigrant Song by Led Zeppelin, but we could not use that one because of copyright. So I did some research and I found a music composer on Fiverr, and he did an incredible job turning this song into this retro video game style of music. For the voice of Pikachu, I found this video on YouTube. Apparently, there's a game on 3DS that comes with some sounds that can be used in animation projects like this one. So I picked a few that really fit well with the scene and we ended up with something like this. Thank you so much for watching, don't forget to smash, smash that like button and subscribe if you want to keep learning stuff about digital art, animation, special effects and all this kind of stuff. And I'll be seeing you in the next video, bye bye!